Hi, my name's Amanda Brewster and I'm an actress and I also present. I got into presenting and acting when I was quite young. I always did it at primary school. It was my hobby and I, it was something I always loved doing. And then at senior school, I joined our drama club and I did GCSE drama. For me, that's where I thought it was going to end and it wasn't until a drama teacher took me aside and actually said that she thought I could pursue it professionally that, I, that it became on my radar. So I actually dropped one of my A-levels and did drama A-level and was very fortunate that where I was in Swindon, the drama teacher also had a drama school called Sixth Sense and she had a agency. So she signed me to her agency. It was a, just a small child's agency in Swindon. And off the back of that, I um, was very fortunate that a casting director called Marilyn Johnson, who's really big in London, came down to cast for a TV drama called Tess of the Durbervilles back in 1996, I think it was. And she cast me as, as a milkmaid called Retty Priddle. And I basically had no film experience. I'd never done anything before. And I just had to basically just wing it and teach myself on set, asked a million questions, um, had the time of my life. And then off the back of that, got another TV drama called Cider with Rosie, which I was away doing for, I think about five months at the time when I was 17. Um, had to quit a year of my A-levels to do that, carried on with my drama. Um, went to night school for a year to finish my A-levels. Um, was quite unsure about whether I wanted to do it professionally or whether I wanted to do academic studies because I wanted to be a policewoman. And so I took three years out, went to university, studied anthropology, um, only did drama for fun within those three years. And then when I graduated, I gave myself two months and I was very fortunate that I had an audition for a TV drama called Servants, which was another costume drama, and I, and I got it. So um, ended up filming for six months doing that. Um, had such an amazing time again just um, learn on the job um, asked questions to everybody the directors the other actors um, the subtle differences between when you're filming close up or far away how you should act um, the differences in the way you look um, you just ask and, and, and I learned and I listened and that's how I taught myself so although I was quite unconventional that I didn't professionally train I learned so much and have kind of cultivated my unique style that um, maybe doesn't tie in with drama schools but it gets me work and 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 I've made it in the professional world so um, I wrote to loads of agents in London after that and was very fortunate that an agent called Barry Lankford got my CV and took me on and and I haven't really looked back so I've been acting professionally for the last 10 years in London I've been um, doing more TV work I've been doing commercials corporate corporate work a little bit of theatre um, I do find that because I didn't train the theatre world's not as open to me as I would like but I've sort of made a success of myself in 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 the TV world so it's been it's been really really good I would say if you're pursuing acting now it's very different to how it was when I was 16 you're you know you're looking at 15 years on and everything's so much more accessible now and there are so many people doing it that it's hard and I think you have to be very realistic that you are not gonna spend three years at drama school or at university and then suddenly get an agent and work because it does it just doesn't work like that anymore so you whilst you are young and you are living at home or you have time you have to be going to drama classes you have to be doing short films for free you anything you can do for free anyone you can write to speak to do it whilst you are young and you don't have don't any financial commitments and you have time on your hands to do fringe because when you get older and you have bills to pay and you have to work and other life and relationships and family and everything get in the way you will not have time to do that so um, fringe is a really important thing doing things for free is how you learn your craft it's how you can experiment and find out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and you're not under the pressure of actually being paid so that you have to be professional and commit to to, to doing what you do well so just experiment even if it's with your own camera at home even if it's with friends um, constantly get on the web and, and research what you want to do and find the people that are doing it and write to them and don't be scared to, to ring people and I'd say do all of that whilst you're young um, don't feel like just because you haven't gone to drama school or you can't afford to go to drama school that it doesn't mean that you can't be an actress because you can you just have to find your own way Someone in and if you're you're passionate about it and you've got a hundred percent to give to it then anyone can do it realities of being an actor I would say are when it's great it's amazing it just doesn't get better the experiences I've had are incredible and when I'm acting I just feel on top of the world I can't explain how amazing it is 
when it's bad and I'm not working and at my longest period I didn't work for a year it's hard work and you have to be prepared to do jobs that you don't want to do um, long hours at work um, exhausted you it, it can affect everything from relationships with people to how much money you have and as you get older you'll have friends that will be on a lot of money and you can still be struggling and it's hard but you have to be accepting of, of why you're doing it so you need to know this is something you definitely want to do because you, you have to really dig deep and, and do some hard things along the way but hopefully if you do all of that then it will come good and, and, it, and it's all worth it in the end